and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Obsessive Compulsive Gaming. I am the Obsessive Compulsive Gamer, joined once again by my faithful manservant slash Bucktotem Bertram. Say hello, Bertram. Hello, Bertram. And this is our review for Gungrave Overdose. So, dear viewer, don't you dare forget to subscribe to this channel and like this video. Gungrave Overdose was released in 2004, a year I remember fondly as the year I overdosed on Ben and Jenny's ice cream. Um, were you okay? Well, I went up three dress sizes and uh, my poop had cookie dough in it for six months. But apart from that, yes, I was fine. So, what the hell is gun grave overdose? Well, I'm so glad you asked, Bertram. Uh, I didn't say anything. Shut up, Bertram. Gungrave Overdose is the direct sequel to Gungrave, a game I have already done a full playthrough slash retrospective on. Oh, why don't you put a link to that at the end of the video? Oh, I think I will. So, Gungrave Overdose is an action third person shooting game thing with a distinct anime look. Um, there was a Gungrave anime. I know that, you moron. I've masturbated, I mean, watched that anime many times. So, gameplay. Like the original Gungrave, you make your way through stages, shooting every poor bastard unfortunate enough to get in your way. There's also brief moments of platforming, but we won't talk about that. Um, why? Because it's bollocks. Oh, what's new here? is that you can play as not only Grave, but two other characters. Um, what other characters? Oh, who cares? I come to these games for Grave. So while I've played the other characters in the past, for this playthrough, I elected to play as Grave. Um, Beyond the Grave? What? His full name is Beyond the Grave. I know that, you moron. I went into all of that in my retrospective of the original game, which I am definitely putting a link to in this video. <coughs> so, what else can I tell you about the gameplay? Uh, oh yes. You use the coffin on your back to beat the living shit out of enemies and bosses and there's various special moves you can unlock throughout. Um, you didn't do story yet. Don't talk rap. I didn't do story yet. <clears throat> so, story. Gungrave, blah, 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 save the world from a dickhead, blah, 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 shoot things, blah, blah, blah. There. So, what do I think of Gungrave Overdose? Well, it's a nice-looking, fun sequel to a good-looking, fun original game. But boy, oh boy, is it frustrating sometimes, especially the boss fights the controls, and the platforming. But I suppose this is a 19-year-old game, so lots of games were annoying and clunky back then. Therefore, I'm going to give Gungrave Overdose a 7 out of 10. Well, haha, 
There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. My review for Gungrave Overdose. If you enjoyed this little review of mine, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't enjoyed it, well then, feel free to give me a thumbs down. Don't you dare forget to subscribe to this channel, to like this video, and turn on the bloody notification things. But, remember the single most important thing I always tell you, dear viewer, and that is to always stay obsessed with gaming. Say goodbye, Bertram. Goodbye, Bertram. Are you still here? Go away! I'm sure you've got something better to do with your time. No, seriously. Piss off. Be gone. Au revoir. Au revoir. Bye. What in the hell is wrong with you? Go away! Vacate this space! Hit the cross at the top of the screen! The video is done! It's over! It's finito! It's caputo!